You have a queen trying to hatch. She is. There are not any workers on here to welcome her at the moment because I had to shake them off from the other hive. But there might be some that come shortly. She will let off a sound called a tootle. To, her, to announce to the other bees that she has hatched and has arrived. Oh, oh, looks like she's chewing the capping off all the way around the base. It looks almost like a full circle has been chewed off. Let's see if she can push her way out. And hopefully when she comes out, she will drop right into the hive and become accepted as their new queen. Here comes a worker, oh, completely ignoring. Oh, maybe it'll notice her. Oh, 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 it noticed her. I wonder if it's going to try and help her, or if it's feeding her. Working together. Oh, her head's out. Let's see if they do this together. Like I said, this frame came with supersedure queen cells from another hive because this current hive was queenless and becoming honey bound. It was a split that I had made and I wasn't sure if it was going to use, if they were going to create a supersedure shell and they didn't. And here she comes. She's almost out. Oh, oh, go girl, go. And a queen is born. Here she comes. Yay. Okay. She's drinking. She'll drop down in. She's really pretty. And there's a little drone struggling to hatch himself. Alright, I'm gonna let her down in. And we're gonna let nature take its course. I hope that they accept her and I start to see brood cells within the next week or two will take her on a mating flight. There are plenty of drones in there.